Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 33 of Let's Play Minecraft, and uh, so, um, this is the, of course, Sandbox Mod Pack. I've filled in this room, everything is working, I've used actually quite a bit of Yellow Relium already, 16 of them, uh-oh, how am I using so much? Well, it's not too bad, uh, I went ahead and filled all these energy cells up here, resident energy cells all the way up. Uh, so I made, uh, I guess there's six in total, five new ones, and added them there. I still have this one for whatever re usage. Actually, right now, it works with a good wireless battery um, charger there. Uh, in here, I've been doing bees, 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 and... <gasps> Phantasmal Queen has been born. So I'm actually uh, kind of beating this girl up with a bunch of these, which I think now they are stacking. Oh, maybe not quite stacking, but they're getting there. Uh, so we'll work on those. Hopefully, will she? No, you better not do that, because that would be sad if you accidentally lost that. But there you go. We'll throw all these ones in there. There you go. And uh, I'm going to put that there, actually. And uh, anything that's kind of not supposed to be here maybe just out of the single file lines all that kind of stuff just get rid of them so I've cleaned up quite a bit of these bees over time anyways well, that's weird what's going oh no it's still going looks like I can do some lot more lab wear anyways uh, this thing takes 4k RF a tick by the way it's ridiculous how much it uses but that's fine um, I'm just doing it for fun. It's I don't even think I'll ever use it, but uh, I just do it for fun. C4 KRF. Uh, but we're gonna need some more layabware, so let's go layabware, and let's put this in here. Cause we're about to be running out here. There we go. And so yeah, I went through the bees. I've basically kept most of them on the way up there. I might have lost one or two like a noob and forgot to keep them, but most of them should be there. These are two different ones. So yeah, I guess, yeah, we got most of them. Yeah, I think I've kept most of them. Uh, anyways, this is the one that we were hoping to spawn the Ender Dragon with, and today we're going to go and try to fight the Ender Dragon if it does spawn. Um, I don't know if it'll work. I made sure I took my Ender Egg and hit it or removed it, and uh, mainly because I didn't want to accidentally spawn this guy just in case if it does spawn right away when you drop the item. I tried it on the ground with a bone actually. Because um, I was like, it doesn't work that way, does it? Like, it's not like you just throw the item on the ground and they spawn, right? That would be crazy. Well, here you go. I think it's it would just change, so it's probably going to happen in a second here. Might not have the effect on it yet, huh? No, it it's in there. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm a liar. It doesn't work. Weird. I swear it worked before. Maybe because it's daytime, or there's another reason? I have no clue. Yeah, whatever. I'm going crazy, I guess. Um... Anyways, we're going to go and try this anyways. I don't know if it's going to work out. I swore that worked before, but it uh, doesn't seem like it's working now. Must have hit G accidentally? Odd. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. My internet's lagging, I think. Damn it. I hate when this happens. At a certain time of day, my internet starts uh, dropping packets, which looks like that's happening right now. TPS is probably fine. It's just... Yeah, everything's laggy. So this might be an interesting fight with it being a little more laggy, but uh, why not, right? <laughs> there we go. So this is where we went originally to fight the Ender Dragon, which that was with Togi and I. So hopefully this is... This should be relatively easy. I don't think it'll be too special or too crazy. I've, Like I said, I've never done this before, so... Uh, we'll find out here anyways. I'm hoping this works fine. This will probably take some energy on the side here. There you go. And then we'll put the bee in here. And they'll start breeding. All signs are good, so that's good. And then I guess all you do now is you throw this here and... Holy crap! There you go. The only downside is, I think I lost everything. Wow. Did 
Did I lose it all? Yeah. So the Ender Dragon, the way he spawns, he destroyed the energy cell and the thing, so... There you go. So I guess I'm gonna have to mass produce the bee. That's kind of sucks. I wonder if it was a vanilla thing, if it would have been better, but that's okay. Uh, of course, we got this guy's here, so we can go ahead and just knock this over, and then um, we'll go ahead and collect these. There you go, we can collect the new bag here. And we can do this again, like that. There you go, boom, and there you go, we got the egg. So it looks like we lose everything because the Ender Dragon does some nasty damage. Which kind of sucks because uh, it would have been nice not to lose what I just made. But uh, I guess that's what happens with the Ender Dragon. Not much you can do about that, right? I think maybe, uh, since we're here, we should go ahead and... Kill a bunch of these guys, huh? I guess at this point you might as well just run around like King Kong here. here. I can't believe though we uh, yeah just double check and we did lose the bee. Actually this was on me. I don't think he's in here or she whatever. No I would be at the front anyways. <laughs> well now you know how I can farm it. I'll just have to keep doing the bees. I'm gonna try next time when I do it though I'll use a vanilla apiary because I'm wondering if the vanilla one would have actually been safer. The reason I think that is because I'm ha I have a feeling anyways that um, the vanilla one would just break and the bee might have dropped. I don't think the ender dragon breaks items on the ground but it does break items and I think the industrial apiary anyways keeps items on break. So if that's the case, it makes sense why that breaks. Plus I lost my apiary and a few other things, so it only makes sense that I try to uh, perfect that. I also could have probably spawned the Ender Dragon a little further away from it too. Just thought of that now. I don't know how far the effect was, but if I... Moved it another five or six blocks, it might have been enough to miss it. Plus, do it a little higher, maybe. But these are all things that you'll learn over time. I'm going through all these.
Oh, that one poisoned me or something or gave me... Huh. Hunger, yeah. Okay. I think we're done. I beat the game again. Yes! There we go. Home sweet home. So we'll put these back in the system, I guess. And then we'll take these out. Switch for now. There you go. So we can make, uh, the nice thing is we can make as many of these as we want, though we're going to have some property issues because uh, this will require certain whatever. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go like this. And then I guess I'll go ahead. I'm going to try to save these this time around. Uh, so Rocky and you want more Rocky here. Rocky. We'll throw these in here. Get their love on there. Hopefully they have no issues uh, running in the the uh, end, and hopefully this one works as well. And like I said, we'll probably try to do it a little further away, see if that does anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to code these guys up with uh, as much as this, so they're somewhat similar, and then I'll friggin gangbang the uh, princess on each one again uh, that way they will become the same bee again and hopefully that works now I have no clue if this is gonna actually work I guess I should bring this back huh but we'll try Kind of letting the chunks open a little longer. I'm uh, going too too crazy here. I say we teleport a little faster this time around. Okay, so let's try this again. This time, let's try to do this a little higher, upper, whatever. So, um, let's see here. We'll try putting you down there, and we'll put the bee in here. It should run just fine, hopefully. Hopefully there's no issues. I see the bee stuff, so that's good. And this time, let's put you, say, up here for now. And then, oh, I'm nervous, to be honest. Oh, yeah, it looks like that might be a little too high. <laughs> there we go. That was better. Okay, that worked better. I just realized if this clicks bad, we're gonna have to fish it out wherever. Hopefully we don't have that mistake ever. There you go. Because of the sound effect. <laughs> okay. My EXP says three, huh? Okay, we're gonna right click this again. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere bad because that keeps worrying us a bit. There you go. Don't 
might be too uh, far. No. Well, we lost the Ender Dragon. Beer, I know where he is. He went to spawn. Do you think? Oh, they don't stack. Never mind. It looks like you went there, but it didn't actually go there. Did you go back to the end, though, or no? Oh, there it is. It's actually kind of cool. Hopefully I don't get him stuck in there again, though. As cool as that was, it's not really cool for everyone else. Close. Oh, of course, it's not even running anymore. There we go. I kind of love when they lag a bit. There it is. It finally hits spawn. The nice thing is at spawn we have a portal there, so it doesn't matter now if it does hit spawn ever. No, we're good.
One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. Look at all these hearts I'm getting. Ooh, -hoo, nice. And there you go. I think I'm done with that. Uh, this is used for Draconic stuff, which I will use later. The Draconic dust itself is pretty useful. That can be used for later. We'll do something with that. But uh, I think for now, I would say we've done a, a good job, and I'm happy with what we've obtained or have gotten. Um, of course, I'll uh, go back to spawn here just quickly, make sure there isn't something we've left there or fell through that might be useful, like some of the Draconic dusts or whatever. Actually, I think that's exactly what I just picked up. I'm not sure, though. That or some other grass stuff. Oh, willow saplings? No, I think it was willow saplings. Oh, well. Uh, so, yeah, we got a lot of EXP there. I, even though it doesn't show we didn't get any EXP there, it's kind of weird doesn't sync well from server to server. It should be uh, quite a bit in there. Uh, dump all of it. Store it all, huh? Ooh, we might actually not have it. Darn it, that sucks. It might be bugged out. We lost it completely. It happens. You gotta love bugs. They're, they're there for fun, right? Oh yeah. My XP didn't even carry over. Meh, whatever. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, that was our bee. I was looking forward to making that. Eventually, I might make the bee that makes more ender dragon eggs or whatever, uh, in case I lose mine or for whatever reasons. Uh, yeah, I think that rounds up this episode. That was a pretty cool episode, actually. Killed the ender dragon a few times. Got to show you the bee that does it. It'll let you spawn a few other things, too, like the, uh, the wither. Uh, well... I don't know if it would spawn the Wither boss per se, to be honest. Um, I know it would spawn... What does the Wither skeleton, the Wither anyways, drop? I guess you got these guys. Um, nether, nether Star, I guess? You probably have to place another star to spawn him, so actually it's probably... Yeah, it looks like another star you would need. Um, so that wouldn't work out well if that's if you could spawn them anyways. Oh, look at that. You can use an electric crusher to get your nether star back. Huh. No way to do beacons, thankfully. Uh, this one I'm going to eventually try out anyways for fun, nether star. Uh, this one you basically use 200 and... Wow. That's actually more expensive than I thought, but 250 million to get this. That's crazy. Ha. Uh, anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.